Sunday morning, June, June 9th, 11, 11 a.m., so it's technically still morning. But if you've seen this clip, then you already know I've been up working um, for a while. My mom is coming over. I'm going to help her with some more sewing stuff. In the meantime, I'm using the opportunity of needing to clear my table to cut out some more stuff for myself. I also drafted a pattern already for a pair of pants, and that's already done. I don't have enough um, test fabric to um, test the pattern on, so I'm going to have to get some inexpensive knit um, to try it on um, when I have the opportunity to go buy at the fabric store. Always test your patterns when you've when you're trying something new, especially if you've drafted a pattern on something inexpensive like a sale fabric, something you haven't spent a ton of money on. Uh, anyway, so that's what I'm up to today. I've already got the postings done, ATC's done, paper clips done. Um, I need to photograph the paper clip, but it's drying, and yeah, so that's a thing. All right, I'll be it's back. It's Sunday evening. It's after eight, isn't it? It's uh, 10 after eight. 10 after eight. Oh Still bright as daylight because, you know, we're in the Pacific Northwest. It doesn't get dark until like 10.30. Anyway, we're going out for a walk. We spent the day with my mom and dad helping. I help mom with uh, the baby blanket she's working on for the new great grandbaby. I barbecued. You barbecued. It was I delicious. Tip. I tip my favorite. Yes. Potatoes, green beans, some nice salad. It was good. Lots of ranch dressing. Lots of ranch dressing. Homemade ranch from Buster's Barbecue, by the way. I love ranch dressing. Yep. Love, you know, you don't need I know. Anyway, we're going to go for a walk now, and we'll see what we can see. We'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is just before 9 a.m., Monday, June 10th. It's like 8.42 or something. Don't get excited. I checked. <laughs> anyway, obviously, we're headed upstairs. I need to put these on my desk that I doodled on last night because we're going to scan them and make them some digital downloads. I've got four or five more of them downstairs I'm going to make. They'll be a bundle. Anyway, I need to turn on the computer. There you go. And do my social media thing. And then I need to run a couple quick errands, one of which is check on the P.O. box this morning before I get uh, caught into doing any um, thing up here in the art room today. I need to update the website. That's like a priority. I need to do an ATC card and a paper clip today. And I have one of the many shirts I cut out over the weekend that I want to work on. So that's on the agenda today. I better get to okay, it. Hey guys, I'm working on another sewing project today. And this is um, one of the Hey June tops. Um, from that pattern and you're probably not going to be able to see the seaming super close because of the fact that the fabric is black but it has it's I don't know it's a tank top but it's raglan <laughs> I don't know anyway it is a swing top which means it um, like goes out at the bottom I just took off two and a half inches on each side and tapered it up towards the armhole because it was just a little bit wide around here for me I like my tops loose but I don't need to look like I'm pregnant, like, because, yeah. So this is much better. I'm trying it out of this fabric first because, to be honest, this was, I don't know why I bought this. I mean, it's okay, but, yeah, so I'm going to do this one first. <laughs> we'll see. This one's a little thicker, too, so it didn't drape. Some of the other ones I want to make this top out of are thinner, and they may drape better, and I may not have to make that adjustment, but I'm going to mark the adjustment on the pattern, um, and then we'll just see. All right, I'm going to finish it. I've got to put the banding around the armhole and the neck and then hem the bottom and we're done. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Tuesday evening, June 11th. Yes, I said evening. I haven't vlogged all day. <laughs> I was busy fixing website issues. <laughs> My web site host decided to update their website editor and the only problem with that is they broke five other things. So things weren't formatted correctly, things were clickable that shouldn't have been clickable. So yeah, it should be fixed now. Check out the description below. I don't know. Anyway, it's like 88 degrees outside. It's kind of hot for me, but Fred and I decided to go walking anyway. 
cold, baby. It's cold. I don't think there is such a thing, but anyways, I put my hair up and what does Vicky call it? Oh yeah, the hamsters. They're back. back. They're back, yeah. So anyway, we're gonna go walking. I'll be back. It's Wednesday morning, June 12th. Don't get excited. I looked at the computer already. I've had at least one cup of coffee. I'm working on the second. What time is it? Got no clue. <laughs> no idea. But it is going to be hot today again. Computer's on. Um, it was in the high 90s yesterday here in Oregon, and it's going to be that again today. So I am trying to get my day started early. I've already um, been out to water the tomato plants and the lettuce and everything. Um, they got a little scorched yesterday, so I'm going to water them this morning and probably again this afternoon. And right now I'm going to do my social media bit before I head out to the grocery store because I think it's right around 8 a.m. 7.50. See, I was right. I was close anyway. It's 7.50 a.m. I want to get out to the grocery store and home um, well before lunch because it's going to be hot again. So let's get to it, shall Here's we? Here's booty gut ball. We'll look at the table here. I've got a stack of papers over here I need to scan for backgrounds. But um, this is my table as it is at the moment. I shared a social media post last night of these. I'm trying to make copies of the wax seals I was playing with the other day, which these are some of the wax ones. And I casted the actual seal so I got a reverse image in resin. That's the mistake bin, hang on. Oops, here we go. Turned out pretty cool, but I wanted to try to get the positive one like that. So I did them, stamped them in clay and baked them. I swear I followed the instructions, but this is what happened with the old Primo um, clay that I had in my cabinet. I'll show you all the package in a minute. I don't know, does polymer clay get old? Um, so that obviously didn't work. And so I did stamp them into, um, this is like Crayola air dry clay. I don't think this is going to mold well because I have to push it into the molding putty. And this, I don't know if this is hard enough to be honest, to get me a good mold. So we'll see. I'm going to try it. Um, that I used. I don't know. Can polymer clay get old? Yeah, I have no idea. Anyway, let's get back to it. I gotta do the social media stuff so I can get my butt to the store, but yeah. Epic failure. When the rear windshield wipers and washer fluid aren't really cleaning, they're just pushing the dirt around. I think it's probably time to get the car cleaned. Yeah, that's a thing. Guys, all right. so all the new stencils came in. This one is called Splash. This is one of the modern atomic stencils. I'm gonna I'm gonna link all of these in the um, all of these. I'm gonna I'm gonna link the stencil section of my Etsy shop in the description below. Um, I have 28, I believe, new stencil designs that are in stock. Quantities are limited. First come, first serve. The new manufacturer has the designer's name and the design model name or number etched into the edge of the stencil, which is really great. This is one of the ones that's based on the black paper doodles. As is this one, and that one. This was the one that you guys have all commented on. We called it sort of a flower shape, which it, I guess it is. The design team will have 
some of these as they wish. They're going to be picking certain ones and um, playing with them soon. So you'll be able to see videos from the from them on these. I did take some of them and put them for to a stencil. So for those of you like myself who like to work small. And they're intended to be layered. So for instance, you would do this one first and then this one, or you could do it the other way. This one first and then this one on top. This one first and then that. This one and then that. So they're intended to be layered. This, this, These all four can be layered on top of each other. So anyway, I'm gonna go sit down and relax for a minute, turn on the air conditioning, and then I guess I'm coming back upstairs and I guess I'm packaging stencils. Hopefully I have enough packaging supplies, but I guess we'll find out. Holy I'll cow, you see that? That's all the new stencil designs and inventory. I just spent like two hours packaging them. I ran out of the package inserts. I don't have any. So there's a few designs that have, um, they're naked. <laughs> so in the listing description, um, there'll be a notation if you would prefer to get a naked stencil without the product packaging and save a dollar um, To let me know in a notation on your order, and I'll send you one of the naked ones Anyway, now I got to get them all listed. Holy cow. This is the last time I do this by the way um, I do have a lot of new stencil waste there is some listed in my Etsy store But now I have a ton more so I need to make up some new bags um, but if you're interested um, in stencil waste and using it in your uh, mixed media work um, and on your pages, you can use them as masks. You can add them to your page for texture with gel medium. I've done it before on different journal pages. It's really cool. It's just, you know, it's the part that falls out when they cut the stencils. So um, usually you get a mixed bag of designs. Anyway, all right, that's it for the moment. Holy cow, I need to get to Etsy now. I'll be back. Morning. It's Thursday morning, June 13th. It is 9.37 a.m. Don't get excited. The computer's on. And I've been up for a while. <laughs> so we are having house guests starting this evening uh, until Saturday, I believe. My nephew from California is coming to visit. He's in a band. Um, the band's name is Bad Mother Nature. They play, according to him, and their self-described 70s rock and roll. I don't know what that means, but we're going to go listen to them play on Friday. They do have a Facebook page if you want to go check them out. Uh, I'll put the link in the description below. Um, the little bit of clips I've heard online um, sound great. And I love that he's following his dream, and I'm all for supporting that. Um, but... It's going to be a hectic few days. It's also Father's Day weekend, and we are spending the day uh, with Bob doing um, a bunch of stuff he wants, including walking um, around downtown in a park downtown and um, going to visit Portland's Chinatown, and there's a burger place he wants to check out, so we're going to be doing that on Sunday. Um, we've been having more estimates on little jobs around the house um, by contractors, so we're going to be gearing up for some of those jobs including hanging the big paintings in the living room. Um, I talked my husband into not doing that himself, so we're gonna, I'm going to hire somebody. The, the, um, our general contractor said he can do it as long as I put the hangers on the back. Um, and the upstairs toilet is leaking. Because, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I called the plumber this morning, and um, hopefully they can squeeze me in in the next couple of days. I told him I'm having house guests, but thankfully we do have two more toilets. But, yeah. So um, he see, he'd see what he could do and he'd have his girl who does the scheduling call me back. Um, in the meantime, in the midst of all of that, I think my nephew is coming over sometime this afternoon. He's showing up, He's they were playing in Seattle last night, so I think he's coming over sometime this afternoon. But I need to go put gas in my car, pick up liquor at the liquor store, and mail some Etsy orders. I already got my daily postings done on the internet and I got my um, ATC cards, uh, coins done. I actually did them ahead through Monday because Monday, Monday, I'm, the week is gonna be crazy like for the next week. I'm gonna maybe have a quiet day Wednesday, 
<laughs> maybe Monday the awning people are coming to finally fix the awning Tuesday I'm getting my hair done Thursday is mammogram Saturday we're flying to California for the day to get our teeth cleaned at my uncle's dental office I just y'all know what I mean <laughs> but it's good that I'm busy and that there's tons of stuff going on because I won't dwell on and stress about the mammogram whether they find stuff or not I always stress it's one of those tests as women you know we always stress about it I do have a benign cyst on one side so you know and it's a new doctor it's a new place so you don't know what they're going to question what they're going to find you just don't know anyway I'm too busy to worry about it right now <laughs> On <laughs> top all of it off, we got 28, 28 new stencil designs in last night. I know you saw that part already. I was packaging a fiend yesterday, and I think I only had two meals. I think I forgot to eat dinner. I was too tired. Anyway, go shop at the Etsy store. I need you to like clear out some inventory. <laughs> um, and any of the stamp sets that you would like, um, you know, go check everything out. Yeah. Anyway. All right, that's it for now. I better go get my button gear and get my stuff done. I'll be back. Hey guys, it's Friday, June 14th. Yes, I almost said January. <clears throat> anyway, it's 9.22 a.m. Hello, the computer's helping me. Um, so my husband has a day off. We're going to go see our nephew um, play tonight, um, he and his band. And... Um, we have, other than that, we have the rest of uh, the time today and tomorrow um, to ourselves. It's the first time we've had kind of a weekend where we don't have obligations or something we need to do. We can spend it the way we want. So I think today we're going to go to Ikea, get a few things for the house, do a few things around the house, maybe take a drive, do some fun stuff. Sunday is Father's Day, so we're going to... Um, go do some exploring on Sunday. I don't know exactly what, but we'll figure something out. So yeah, it ought to be interesting. I'll bring you with us where I can. I'll be back. Sideways tongue. Are you tired, me? Never. <laughs> morning. It's Saturday morning, June 15th, 9.54 a.m. Don't get excited. Hello, computer. <clears throat> Little horse from last night. We went and saw my nephew as... If you're watching this clip, you know already. We went and saw my nephew... Axel and his band play uh, Bad Mother Nature. They played at the Hawthorne Theater uh, Lounge 
uh, last night. They did a great job. I wasn't sure, to be honest, what to expect, although I do have a couple of his CDs. To be honest, I hadn't listened to them. Um, I'm kind of glad I hadn't because I was pleasantly surprised. They're actually pretty good. I really liked their music a lot. Um, so that was a lot of fun. We came home and had a very late night stack, snack of mochi ice cream, which if you don't know what that is, it's like little ice cream balls wrapped in a, um, a rice flour pastry, mochi pastry. Um, anyway, they're really good. Um, I don't think they're traditional mochi, which I think is made a different way, but they're like an ice cream version. Anyway, we had those last night pretty really late. Today we just are relaxing around the house. I've got set the Ikea pegboard. I want um, Bob to help me hang up in here in the art room. And I do have that painting over my shoulder right there. I, I want to start. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to get up to today. And that's okay. We don't have plans. Tomorrow's Father's Day. And we're going to figure out what we can do and explore uh, with the kids and the dog. Uh, not leave Lily at home locked up in a crate all day. Because um, that's not fun. And um, I think that's it for the moment. For right now, anyway, I'm going to do my daily social media postings, which is why I'm up here, and get it, get to it. And if you can't hear the noise in the background, I've already started laundry. So, all right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Hey, guys. So I know I just today aired a studio tour, but I've already made a change. It was one that I was thinking about since before filming, but anyways, we did get it done today. It's a small change, so I'm gonna share it here with you in the vlog. Um, we took the little wall next to my sewing table and put up two Ikea pegboards and some of the pegboard accessories so I could sort and organize my threads so I'm not digging in a bin for thread, which was driving me crazy. Hang on, I'm gonna turn the camera around. I'll show you what we did. Studio tour that this light here that was on a stand on the table that it needed to be in the corner, but that the stand was kind of driving me crazy. And I really wanted to see if Bob could put it up on the wall. So we did rig something and figure out how to do exactly that. And I have command strips and Velcro attaching the cord to the wall so I can just hit the button and turn it on. And it does still move a little bit side to side. And also there's a little wing nut on the side so I can tilt it back or forward. Um, so that part all still works. It's just no stand. Love that. Saved a lot of table space. And as you can see, we hung two of the tall, skinny Ikea pegboards on the wall just behind the light and I've sorted and organized all my threads, the threads for the serger and the threads for the regular sewing machine uh, by color uh, families. And now it's gonna be really easy to find thread that I need for a project and not buy thread in a color I already have. Cause you see I have this, oops, sort of gray blue serger thread cause I thought I didn't have anything in a light blue and I already had that. So yeah, that's a thing. Um, and then I took some clips and I hung my stay tapes on the side. This is gonna work great for me. And it cleared some clutter out of the drawers and some clutter out of the windowsill because that was getting pretty bad. And now it's really a proper sewing table. Fabulous. Oh, I love it and I can't thank my husband enough for helping me with that. He did a great job. And now he's downstairs just playing and washing the car and I'm gonna just chill for a bit and have some water because I'm really thirsty. All right, that's it, I'll be back. Okay, I, I made another Hey June top. Here it is here. And I will say after making two of them now, I would definitely, um, for myself and my body shape and how I like to wear my clothes, I would definitely taper in the sides and make it a little less swingy. <laughs> it's described as a swing top. It's wider at the bottom than at the top. I would take some of the width at the bottom out um, and add two inches to the neckband. So I'm gonna make permanent alterations to the pattern now that I've made two of them and I ended up making the same adjustments to both tops. That's how that works, right? So anyway, and the new setup for the sewing machine is working great. So I'm gonna wrap this up and I'm gonna cook dinner, I guess. We're gonna go out to go see Avengers Endgame, which we haven't seen yet. Um, 
After the last one, I don't know how excited I am to see it. They killed off all my favorite characters. I'm sort of hoping a miracle happens. They bring some of them back, but I don't think that's going to happen. Anyway, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. I forgot to close the vlog last night. Oops. We went to the movies to go see Avengers and Endgame. And that was a good movie. I really liked it. Um, we didn't get home until late and then went to bed. So, yeah. But it's been an interesting week. Uh, yeah. The next couple weeks are going to be interesting too. I'll keep you all posted when I can. Anyway, I hope you've had a great one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out the description for uh, any relevant links and my link tree list of links where you can find the places to follow me on social media and support the free content here on YouTube and over on Facebook. The most important thing, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. It's been another week and we'll be back for the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.